Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to a, another drinks review. So today we are viewing Fanta and it's gonna be on the I don't know flavor. Now, <laughs> and that doesn't make sense, but it does make sense because these are literally the uh, what the Fanta, Fanta flavors. So there's like three different variations of these what the Fanta flavors out there. And this is one of them. Now, this is actually a non-English bottle I found. Um, I haven't actually seen the others in the shops yet. So if I find them, I'll see them and pick them up and try and figure out which flavors are what. But this is, I just saw this in like a, a foreign shop, picked it up and I really don't know what flavor it is. It cost me, I think it was like, I think it was like a quid or something, not two, but it was always pounds, two pounds, something like that. But I've had it for a little while now in my fridge and uh, only got around to reviewing it. So we'll give a go F4360 of the bottle. So we have a, we have kind of Fanta's usual bottle design now, you know, it's got lots of grip in the middle, lots of lines going across and you can hug it in the middle, got a good grip. And then we have kind of different Fanta logo to what we normally have. We have like the usual kind of font and stuff, but most of the label is in yellow. And of course we have what the Fanta with a big question mark to figure out the flavor. None of it's in English, like I said, cause it's a non-English cam, so I really, I can't even look at the ingredients to get an idea of what flavor it is. And then on the top, we have a yellow cap saying Fanta on the top as well. So I think it's a, it's got a CZ. So I think that's a Czech uh, or something like that. Czech, Czech Republic Pacific Fanta bottle. But again, I haven't seen an English bottle of this what the Fanta yet. So if I see it, I will pick it up. Now these are actually very low sugar, almost sugar free. These have 0 0.4 grams of sugar per 100 ml. So they are sugar free, which is good. And apart from that, like I said, I'm really, I'm not going to type in every word and try and compare it. But uh, yeah, we we'll just have to go in and go in and find out what what's what with the drink. So it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it will not explode over me. So we know the color is green, but I was pouring into the cup just to make things easy. So let's see. I mean, judging from the green, it's almost like it's going to be some sort of apple color. So... I mean, I mean, again, that's just purely based on color that you think is going to be apple or lime. Could be lime, you know, it could be zesty lime. <laughs> so yeah, it could be zesty lime or uh, or apple or, or could be completely something. It could be bogey flavor for all I know. Right, don't explode. There we go, no bubbles, that's good. So let's pour some in and find out. So, I will have to say, you guys know a lot of my lime, hence my channel name. That is a friggin' awesome colour, and I'll show you guys in a second as well, once I put the air. Uh... Oh, I did get a whiff, it did smell of apples. That was a whiff of apples there. That was quite a strong smell of apples that hit my nose there. We'll give that a closer smell in a second, but first of all, let's appreciate the beautiful zesty lime colouring. Look at that, a beautiful, lovely, bright green colour. Absolutely beautiful colour. You know, lime is favourite colour, lime green. Um, but yeah, so absolutely gorgeous colour. Nice, I mean, it, I mean, it definitely doesn't look natural colour, and I'll say that, but yeah, really, really gorgeous lime green colour. And it is see-through, hello. So yeah, that's the colour. I just, I love the lime green, guys. It really is, really is nice colour. So anyways, let's give it a closer smell and see what it smells of. Yeah, apples, 100% apples. Yeah, apples, 100%. Okay, that's fair enough, easy to understand, apples. That's all I can smell. Yeah, apples. It smells really strong of apples. But I got a whiff of it when I poured it out and smelling it now, it does smell a strong apple. So 100% is apples. And it smells, but what type of apple? It's not like, you know, the super sours apple or anything like that. It just smells like, like a fizzy apple really, but that kind of fizzy drink apple apple smell. Mm, smells nice though. Okay, guys, cool. Nevertheless, let's taste some. Hmm. Definitely apples, 100% apples. But I'm not sure. There's got to be something else in the background there, but I can't. I can't really put my mind to it to figure out what it really is. It, it's not, it doesn't seem to be that strong enough to me for it to really pop out because the apple is, 
so strong. Now, yeah, now, uh, well, I was, I was going to say something about, I was going to compare it to kind of LucasAid's Apple when they done it, but I guess it's, it, I mean, they are similar in a way, but there's just, I don't know, it seems like there's just something there in the background, but I can't figure it out. And it's not really that strong in the background. Apple. And then something, and I don't know what. If, if anything, there's almost like there's nothing there in the background. I'm trying to, you know, really concentrate to figure out what that background flavor is. But I'm getting 99% Apple, and the other 1%, even if there is another 1%, I might be trying to, because it's, because it's a random flavor, we don't know what it's supposed to be. I'm trying to find another flavor that's there. And for all I know, it could just be Apple. But I highly doubt they'd make a what the Fanta campaign if you want to call it just standard apple surely they'd you know want to mix them up a bit apple and something or apple and this or something you know um and all three flavors are green as well so i guess they might be all a base apple you know base apple start on the drink but as far as i'm concerned really struggling to find if there is anything else there in the background I just i just can't figure it out i'm just getting 99 percent apple and that's it not a bad thing because it tastes nice it's a sugar-free apple fanta what more, more, more can you want? It, it, as, before we get any more about the second flavour, as an apple Fanta, it tastes great. It's lovely. Sugar-free. Doesn't have any weird, weird chemical taste. Doesn't have that weird, doesn't have that weird sugar-free taste. Tastes nice. Hmm. Does taste nice as a sugar-free apple drink. Great. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what that, if, if there is another flavour there. And I'm going to give up in a second and stop boring you guys trying to figure out what flavour it is. But the more I drink, I really don't know. Let me try some out of the bottle. See if that helps. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know, I give up. As much as a drink of that, it's just not coming to me. There really just isn't another flavor coming out there. <sighs> I don't know what, I guess they'll release, they'll release the actual flavors eventually on their well, social medias to what actually flavors they were and what ones right and about. But as far as I'm concerned, just for the video, that is, that is literally just a Apple Fanta. There probably is something there in the background, but it's not strong enough and I can't really figure it out. So we'll just leave that drink. As it is but like i said as an apple drink it's really really nice so for that it does get a thumbs up for me and so as a bonus it's sugar free so what more can you want but yeah i really can't find any more flavors about that i really don't know what to say more about the other flavor nope just apple so there you go guys try find these pick them up let me know in the comments what, what flavor you thought it was but uh yeah, for that as it is, it does get a thumbs up because it is nice. So, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.